Hi guys, this is Ankuran Ghosh and welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today in this video, I'm going to share with you four tools that I use daily as a freelancer. And these are the tools that I've been using uh, for like over a year now because I've been freelancing for like a year now and these tools have made my process easier be it onboarding a client or handling clients and sending them invoices and basically all of the freelance process that you go through as a freelancer. So the first tool is cal.com. So this is the tool. Uh, I know most people use Calendly, but I have also tried out Calendly, but I don't like the UI and the entire interface and also the pricing plans. But this is cal.com. Cal.com is completely open source. I know it, it also has some uh, paid plans of its own. But the free plan is more than enough. If you are just starting out, the free plan is more than enough. And I'm also using the free plan. It is everything you need forever free, unlimited bookings, unlimited calendars, unlimited integrations, upgrade at any time. And the best thing is you can also add a Google Calendar and add multiple kind of uh, apps and workflows. So basically, whenever I, I need to schedule any kind of meeting with the client, I send them my Cal link and they get to book the book a slot and then uh, i receive an email mentioning the google meet link or zoom link so you can select whether you want to schedule a meeting through zoom or through google meet or any other app you can set up workflows and automations which means that once a person signs up once a person uh, schedules a meeting if you want to send them a guide or an ebook or something like that, you can also set up the automation. Uh, you can also set up workflows. You can set up a questionnaire or something like that to the client so that the client can fill it up and you have something, you have a entire overview of the client ready before the meeting even starts. So this is how you can set it up. And as you can see, you have, uh, there are three meetings that is already given to like it is by default once you sign up on the platform but I have changed the title and all so this is the discovery call that I have set up you can also add new events but in case of Calendly if you use Calendly what happens is you cannot uh, I think you cannot set up more than one event one uh, meeting or one call unless you subscribe to the premium plan I don't know if, if, if Calendly has changed that now but when I used to use Calendly it was like that so I left using Calendly because uh, it's it's a bit expensive and I don't think these for these basic functions uh, I need to pay. So yeah, this is completely open source and you can do a lot of stuff. If I go to this workflows page, you can see I can create new workflow. Uh, basically, there are some templates that you can use for workflows like send SMS reminder 24 minutes before event. And you can also send custom SMS, you can send custom email. Uh, when a new event is booked, as I have already said, that if you want to, uh, if you want to send your client something as soon as they book a meeting with you, then you can do that as well. You can send custom SMS, custom email, and all of those stuff, reminder, and all of those stuff. And you can also set it up on your website, I believe. Uh, integrate it with your website. You can also set up the availability hours. This is basic thing that you do in every every meeting scheduling platform. So nothing new over here. And, in, and the interface is also pretty much intuitive. So once you sign up uh, and you play around with it for a bit, you will get to understand uh, how to set up stuff over here. But if you need a tutorial, I, I will make one. Uh, just comment below that uh, I need a tutorial for cal.com and I will make a new video about it. All right. So it's pretty simple and easy stuff. But I think it is much better than Calendly and all the event scheduling platforms that I have tried out. So I, uh, I have stick to this Cal.com for some time right now and I think it's better. Again, this is not a sponsored video. They will not sponsor me. I'm just a small YouTuber. So the next tool is reference.com. So I don't know how to pronounce this, how to pronounce this stuff. Uh, it's it's reference or reference i don't know so I, let's let's just call it reference so i use it for accounting and i use it for sending invoice and quotations to clients so once you sign up to reference.com you get a dashboard like this 
and uh, here's your profile and you can go to clients and leads and you can set up clients and lead forms and then you can go to accounting go to invoices and you can create an invoice you can also do that using dashboard from dashboard directly just let's just go to dashboard you can click on create a new invoice and you can create a new invoice you you get to customize the invoice add client names and client details add service details and you can send it to the to the client directly using reference only you, you don't need to set up an like you don't need to email it uh, outside of reference all by yourself you can do it from the reference portal as well so an email will be sent to the client from reference and your business name will be mentioned over there and they can just uh, pay it pay you so yeah but uh, references also there's also pricing plans for reference which means that reference is also a paid service but the free service is also good uh, as you can see i was using the upgraded version the premium version but the trial expired recently and i've already made a video about reference uh, i will put the link in the description below you can check it out it's in more detail so yeah you can use reference for accounting and for quotation and estimates and invoices and uh, you can also buy you can also purchase a premium plan for reference it's it's uh, comparatively cheaper for freelancers just check it out i don't know what's the prices right now when i checked out it was around 900 uh, but it was for me 900 because uh, there was a discount code i had but i don't know what what's the price right now you can check it out it depends on the time you are watching the video all right so there's another tool called fiber workspace so you know the platform Fiverr, right? It's it's for uh, freelancers and people who want to hire freelancers. So I don't use Fiverr for like getting clients, finding clients and all of those stuff. I don't exist on Fiverr as a freelancer, but I use this uh, website called Fiverr Workspace to send proposals to clients to create contracts because it is uh, very easy. You just need to fill in the details. They have an entire template and it, it's very much automated. And you can send it to the client automatically. You can just uh, say, put the email of the client and it will, Fiverr will send the proposal or the contract or the invoice to the client. It's very much easy. And you can also use the e-sign feature, which means if you if you use the e-sign feature or digital signature or anything, it will just, uh, it will be very easy and it will be legally binding. So yeah, these are the three tools that I use as a freelancer and the fourth tool is a very common tool. It is Canva. I use Canva for uh, designing presentations and pitches and proposals uh, for my clients. Basically, I don't use Canva for, for uh, designing posts and all. I used to do that. But now I have shifted to Figma and I think Figma is very easy as compared to to canva uh, canva is also easy canva is very easy but uh, the thing with canva is it's it's just not professional and uh, if you use figma you have a bit more flexibility than canva so yeah that's it and uh, i use it to design presentation mostly because uh, if i need to design a presentation within uh, 20 minutes 30 minutes let's say uh, before a client meeting i use canva and uh, then I can present it to the client through Google Meet or Zoom or anything like that through video conferencing platforms. So yeah, that's why I use Canva. And so these are the four tools that I use in my daily life as a freelancer. First is Cal.com uh, to schedule meetings with clients, be it onboarding, project meetings, consultation calls or anything. Reference is for invoicing, sending invoices and Fiverr is also for invoicing but also for proposals and contracts because it's easy and it's very clear to, to the client if I send this through Fiverr and all. Uh, the proposals are very, very, uh, what to say, compellingly crafted. Let me just show you. If I click on this new proposal and contract, okay, so I cannot create more than one because I've already created one. What I do is I just delete the previous one and I send a new one because I already have a record of it. So it doesn't matter. I don't have the premium plan right now. Um, but uh, if you if you buy the premium plan, you can get the option to do more than one invoice. You need more than one invoice, so you can do it. So just a free alternative. If you don't want to use this, you can use this uh, 
reference it's very much easier let me just show you an invoice on reference if i go to invoice i have plenty of invoices over here on this account i have i think three four invoices right so if i go over here you'll get to see this is the invoice that that is being sent to client and the client uh, views it on the email or whatsapp or whatever so this is the invoice all right so this is the invoice this is mainly for indian clients uh, i don't use it for international international clients but uh, yeah so this is the invoice all right the next thing is uh, canva which I have already told you, Canva is very simple and easy to use. You can use it for presentation pitches and uh, proposals. Uh, some people draft proposals by themselves. You can use it for proposals as well. If if it needs something like uh, graphics and visuals, then you can do it. So these are the four tools that I use. Yeah, that's it about today's video. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one.